Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we're doing a storage upgrade. We're going to be putting this Samsung 980 in our iBuyPowerPC. Uh, model number is BB991, I believe. BB991. Yeah, that sounds right. We'll be putting it in there. So they're all going to be slightly different. Uh, just to let you guys know, the pre-built manufacturers kind of use what they have on hand. So if something looks a little different, um, you know, they try to keep everything performance-wise the same, but you might have a little different board, you know, a different manufacturer in there. I have a Gigabyte B450M uh, DS3H, I believe. We'll double-check it when we open it up. So let's get right to it. All right, so first things first, we're going to have to get this side panel off. And up top here, you just got this screw. should just be finger-tight. Same thing right here towards the bottom. Finger tight. Now we'll be able to grab the small tab in the back over here. Slide it back a hair, tilt it towards you, pick it up. All right, next up what we want to do is locate our PCIe slot here. And this, on this board here, it's this right here. Right where it says Intel Optane Memory Ready. We're going to use that. And then there will be a screw right here already installed for securing it. And just for reference, B460M DS3H AC. Okay, so I'm all kinds of zoomed in here, so hopefully the camera doesn't get too wonky. I'll try to lock it. So this is the screw we need to take out. So with that set aside, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this box here. So, there it is. I'll just pop the clear film right off top. Has a little hole. Kind of slip your finger back there and pick it up. Okay, now that your card's ready, we want to make sure we place it in there the correct way. So you can see that little notch right here on the bottom. That'll line up with this notch here facing this way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to put this in. And you're not going to see nothing because it's in such a tight spot. And I don't feel like taking everything apart just to do this. So we're doing it the cheating kind of way. That's probably more of a pain in the ass than it's worth, but that's what I'm doing. And then just get a nice little snug push. There you go. And it will stick out like this, but that's what the screw's for. All right, so with screw in hand, one hand, very duck, clean like, without shaking like I do. <sighs> Screw that back in there. There's no reason to tighten the heck out of that down. Just until it gets a little bit snug. That's all you need. So there it is. There's our new SSD installed into that port. Um, just quick warning, don't be putting no magnets in there, trying to hold anything down, uh, and don't be going out there rubbing your stretched out balloon animal and then coming in here sticking your fingers in there. Uh, you want to make sure your hands are nice and clean, oil free, make sure you're not charged before you go doing anything inside these motherboards, they are sensitive. Now of course I say that, I do other things as well, but... Just trying to protect you guys. So we're done in there, so we want to put our glass back. Same way you took it out. Set the bottom in. Clean it up. And just 
just press into place. There you go. I like to do the top screw first. Hand tight. Bottom one, hand tight. And there we are. Ready to format it. Okay, so we're down here at the glory hole. Ready to put this back in. Now we gotta hook all our ports back up. So give me one sec to do that and I'll get it fired on. Okay, got it all plugged back in. Make sure it turns on. There we go. Okay guys, so we got the computer on. We're pulled back up on everything. So we go to our file explorer here and we kind of look, we only have our two drives that we already had, our Windows C, which is our solid state that comes with it, and our hard drive. But the SSD is not showing up on this list, and let me show you exactly how we're going to find that. Okay, so down at the bottom there in your little search bar, you just want to go to Device Manager, type it in if you don't have it popped up. We're going to go over to Disk Drives, and it shows that it's there, here. But if we go to our properties, and let's go to events, this is device not migrated, we have to initialize this hard drive before we can start using it. Well, and we're going to initialize, well I've never done that before. <laughs> well, here is a way to do it. Search bar, you can search, just search uh, format and you'll start seeing this pop up. Create and format hard disk partitions. Click on that. And it's already going to bring this a pop up here. So if you looked at that device manager, it did say disk 2. And it's asking us, you must initialize the disk before logical disk manager can access it. So that's what we need to do. You want to make sure GPT is highlighted. The master boot record, that's for older systems and we don't use that no more. So you want to make sure it's on that. Hit OK. And we can see nothing has changed right here, but if you go to Action, Refresh, and you can scroll down here at the bottom, and now we have this too. It says Basic, 931.5 gigabytes, and it just says Unallocated. So we go to Properties. So the device working properly. Details, events, still says not migrated. So we might have to see if it'll now pop up here. No. Okay, I missed this tab here. <laughs> so we're back at the disk management. Um, status is online, so that's good. Now we just need to Make a new simple volume. It's going to bring up Setup Wizard, uh, Max Size. Assign the following letter to the drive. So we're going to call it Drive E. We'll just say it's Drive E. Hit Next. File System and TFS. That's fine. Volume labeled is New Volume. That is fine. Quick Format. Yes. Next. Yep, finish. So new volume E, select to choose what happens is removable drive. It's saying it's a removable drive. But we're saying it's healthy 931 gigabytes of storage in there. So we'll go back to our files. And now drive E is available to us. And of course, if you wanted to rename it, you can do that here. We'll rename it as... Sorry about that. I'm just recording the screen because I didn't want to have to try to record that and then combine the videos. So let's call it a uh, Samsung SSD. You'll need permission, blah, 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 continue. Sure. There we go. We are ready. 
and it is ready. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.